Especially remember, we reference this map specifically as one that Glaive is just a god on when you get to the defense. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. It's definitely interesting, but Astralis, they're so good on the T side as well. Do not underestimate them. And we're live in the game, and they have got a lot of smokes on that T side. Blowing up the door, throwing in a flashbang and a smoke to get down. And they've got two people and Glaive with a headshot. That is such a huge amount of success. Now, Simple did flank around to take down Glaive. So that's not bad, but popping open the door. And Dupree will take the fight. Perfecto there. But the bomb, oh, they actually come off it. I think he almost wanted to do it immediately, Sip, but he waits. He did, but he was the only one in the bomb. Bomb site, and that's a great follow-up kill from Simple. But Device is lying in wait, and he Simple's got another one. A third player coming to challenge, and Simple's ready for that as well. Yeah, it truly is. Let's see if the MP9s could get some action. So far, it's the rifles, so slightly less of a kill reward on those. But I think right now they just want to establish a good lead and just make sure that they can uh, feel a bit more confident than they than they really did on train. It's been spotted, so Glaive will eventually get hunted. Vegas is paired up with him as well. So yeah, Flamey's gonna have a task. He'll have to drop down if he has contact. He's got no support coming, so that's a tough fight. Big win for Electronic. And there goes Flamey to the lower bomb site. Well, there's the pressure put on. Simple rotating in. That's one of the orgs gone, or the, the orc that they had. And this is a big uh, problem now. 50 seconds on the clock and Flamey in a position. But again, that medium range for the MP9, it's not exactly great. They'll get the one and it actually turns around. What a great job from Flamey. That could have been nothing at all. Instead, it's a two on two and plenty of health there on the on the Astralis side, which is a bit of an issue. We nearly caught that Dupree now. Is the timing going to be against him? He's kind of looking the wrong way and Perfecto will take him down. That is some unfortunate timing. And Magus now in a one versus two. He knows where both of them are, though. They at least have the information to call that out. So Mega's going to get aggressive towards the window. He's going to peek. He's going to find that kill. The pounce needs to be right now. And Perfecto not expecting Magus to be posted up. I don't even know what Navi... I mean, at this point in time, you're, you're hoping that someone at a corner with that CC could get into a series of fights. Electronic will take one. It's an important that he's not traded as well. He brings it into yeah. a four on four. That could have been a big thing for Astralis to get. You can see they're keeping some range between them because they have the rifles. And I mean, this is where it gets even dicier. If they make their way all the way up to heaven, how do you really defend against that with just the CZ? Aggression in towards lobby. They found one. They can salvage that weapon. And well, now it's very interesting, not just because of the advantage, but the time that's oh, left. Oh, 28 seconds. You're right. He's still hiding in that corner with the Deagle. They do check for it, but an instant headshot to take one down. They'll get it, but only 20 seconds on the clock. They can't really afford to be slowed down now. Now, that's a heads up peak from play. That's that's so well uh, done. They spotted him on the jump. Perfecto had no idea he was spotted. I don't think he would have held that angle, but the door is open. Boomich has got to be careful behind him. It's all down to timing. They know where he is as well. And now he got that with the jump. Glaive's going to try and plant this bomb. There's no time. They just need to survive, and Boomich has got that as well. For Navi, and especially with that AWP in play, that's what you want. Magus showing up and instantly getting taken down not even getting a chance, are they? No, that's a tough angle to fight from with just pistols, though, peeking out of the hut when there's so many different vertical angles. And this time, Simple and Flamey both sticking around, both working together. A rare miss for Simple, but an easy cleanup for Flamey and even tapping away Device, the last one left. Would love to get at least one kill out of this. Navi, on the other hand, would, would love to survive with all five players, build some money. Yeah, just don't even don't even really go for it. All he's doing is saving a deagle if it if it comes to that. So, I mean, he's obviously not going to try and save it. That would be truly ridiculous. 14 seconds and immediately taken down by Flamey. Four to one. I'm excited about this. I think this is is a much better start, obviously, for Navi. And it's also not just simple and electronic at the moment on the scoreboard. It's early days, but you wanna wanna make sure that doesn't repeat itself. Now, Astralis, obviously, they're going to have a lot of different tricks on this T side. So, still a lot that can be attempted from their point of view. But it, it does change the equation a lot when Simple's got that AWP. He can be everywhere with it. Oh, smoke interrupted right there. So, you see the huge gap. It's happened a couple times now. That's the third time we've seen such a big gap. Glaive going to... Oh, there's still a massive gap in that. They have to know, surely they see that device. Maybe he does it. Maybe he didn't realize it quite yet, but he found out in the end. But um, now, 
I don't know. A lot of this has been red, I think. He's got to let his teammates do the work from here. What a good kill to find. Glaive is wreaking so much havoc. This defense has no idea where the hit's going to come in. Flamey's going to be tested. That's the bomb down. He's going to try and get away, and he's just barely going to do it. Around the corner, but Glaive's still lurking. He's thinking about it. Electronic should have every chance to win this fight. He's read that so well. And Flamey standing tall with the M4. Make us down to nine health and under 30 seconds. Yeah, they are playing this really well right now, Navi. In spite of Glaive, actually, I don't know, playing better than you would have expected out on the yard. He's going to be going down. No chance, even for a bomb plant. This time, the smokes do not get interrupted, but unfortunately, they have pistols. So it's hard to celebrate too much. They're going to try and see if they can beat that Molotov and... Oh, quick trade. Electronic has to just be like, what the hell is he thinking? Glaive going to keep moving forward. SMG is going to be there to greet him, but Flamey doesn't want to commit, even though he has a teammate with him. This is awkward. I don't think Navi has a single read of where Astralis is. They're spread all across the map, and this is what makes them so scary on these rounds once you get that initial kill. I mean, I think it was Device that went down with the bomb and the AK-47 because he had no armor. But if he lands a quick headshot on Flamey in that scenario, it's it's a bit of a disaster. Now they've pretty much secured everything here. Glaive, the best he could do is, again, do a little bit more economic damage. But any dream of actually getting a bomb plant and fighting for that, that's obviously washed away. You can pick up that AK-47, though. That might be that might allow him to get a good shot onto Flamey inside of that lower bomb site. And he hears the sound cue. Low HP, it's got to be an immediate headshot. Nearly saw him. I think he nearly had the right idea. A couple of seconds left, and Flamey's just out hunting for him, and actually caught him mid-air, mid-jump. Flamey's going to be fine with that, though. He had low HP. I mean, not low HP, but he was going with the SMG, just trying to find out the position. It's simple. That would be the costly loss if Glaive can find this kill, and he did just spot the head. Missed shot. Maybe not a fight simple once to take. That's pretty ballsy to keep re-peeking into it. Yeah, Glaive knows he's just being baited for time at the moment for more people to show up. Nine seconds, and yeah, he's got to find a way to die right here, and he will. This kind of a play is all about what you provide your team. There's the shadow, but Glaive ducks right beneath the shot. Flash to set it up and simple. Not going to take the chance there, but now he's actually slightly exposed. He might want to try and get out of this position. I'm sure if he's realizing yet, Boomich going down and simple. He's going to get the kill, but Glaive is right there behind him to punish him. That's... I don't know, the AR defense crumbling for Na'Vi. Still a two on three. Chance to recover. But no one has moved downstairs just yet. They don't have the information, and this is going to be a plant. And actually, I mean, even in a two on three, might be a scenario. Flamey and Perfecto save the weapons, preserve the economy. Flamey's only got 600. Electronic down at 1300. Yeah. I think the money has got to be the name of the game in this round for Na'Vi. So just back away and let Astralis get their second round. Three Kriegs, two AKs, AWP still in Stimple's hands. And this time it's going to be towards Flamey. They're going to test him again. He's standing tall on this map so far. And once again, he's got a first kill, massive amounts of damage. And Simple's going to finish off Dupree. Even just the fact that he did damage to so many more players, that's really going to hurt them. They take ramp room, but Navi don't care about that for the minute. They still need the bomb plant and with only three people alive. That's going to be very tricky. They have two players downstairs already, and Simple is rotating as well from Secret with the AWP. Oh, Electronic. Going to have a tough task. Stepping in front of that smoke to check for information. Bomb does go down, but Magus now has to get in some kind of safety. Simple, there's the door open. Oh, and he can't find him quick enough. And an awkward angle now in towards the door. Boomich is in some trouble, and he doesn't know it yet. They still have some smokes and a Molotov here on the Na'Vi side. They could do a lot to try and force them out. That actually does nothing. No one's hiding in there. So, so far, some of the grenades just missing a little bit. And Chance, but Magus will go down. And now it's Glaive. One versus three. He has a Molotov of his own. If they are not careful, could be a little bit of an issue there. He tries to throw. I think it went way too far. There should be no problems in the defuse. And that's going to be another round for Na'Vi. Seven to two. Yeah, that's, that follow-up smoke towards door is just like, oh, God, I have to still just wait until you're ready. Another 17 seconds. There's the flashbang. There's the clear and that's exactly why it gets awkward. That's too long to just be sitting out there making no presence known. And now the rest of this push is really unimpressive because it's so signaled. Electronics already cleared the one side and now they're just all stuck on top of each other. Nothing about this is actually what we want to see, except for Navi. Again, just the, the timing on the smoke and the fact that they clear the yard with the flashbang. 
That would be a good way to get started on <laughs> this device. Flamey, he wasn't expecting that. Simple, over-rotating, really way too committed to that fight. A double opening for the Vice, and that's a big problem. He's ready for more. If Electronic opens the door, he might go down, but actually he catches the Vice at a really good time, and he'll follow it up with the bomb going down. Electronic, he's a hero right now for Na'Vi. He wants more, and finally he'll be brought to an end. Boomage. That's a scary fight. The smoke, though, he almost has to do something or his teammates will be alone for a long time. This is tough. Perfecto going to come in for the flank, and but if, if Boomich can't get there, there's no point in Perfecto even moving in. Boomich going to head. He's going to evacuate that fight at Ramp Room, heading down the vents. It's a lot of time, though, and a lot of noise, and Astralis has this information. As you mentioned, money not great for the Na'Vi side, and they're still going to go for it. He wanted to do the spam like he did earlier to Device, so he's trying for that same thing. Oh, he's gonna come right through it. There's that flashbang you mentioned, but just way too many bodies. Electronic has seen enough times that Glaive is sometimes the only one there. Yeah. So in his head, it's worth the risk, but no chance to get away. And look at the position Glaive's in now. Remember, he backstabbed Simple previously sneaking into Warehouse. And he just called it. I'm pretty sure that's what we just saw. He said, you know what, Magus could Dupree just go back. I'm out here waiting. We still have 50 seconds. If you can make any distraction, then yeah, I'm right in behind the enemy lines. Perfecto, though, is set up. And Boomich is there as well. They've got a pretty lethal double if anyone tries to come and push. Flamey and Simple now over at the ramp. And there's Boomich pushing in, but instantly down. And Dupree, those are some beautiful kills. And look at Glaive. He's just ready to catch this rotation. Should be almost no way for Flamey or anyone else to read this. Oh, double flashbang. Simple's a bit blind. Oh, wait. 25 seconds. Oh, this is very awkward. Where do they want to go with this? They're actually, for some weird reason, Flamey and Simple are in pretty winnable positions. Now he's made his way up the ladder, and Simple, that should be the end of him. If, if Flamey was still around there when he'd caught Glaive, this would have been such an awkward round, but they managed to thread the needle somehow. That is always worth talking about, and looks like they might try and challenge Ooh. him, and that was at least a mistake from Glaive's point of view. He was ready for that one. I can't believe he caught that. That looked like Glaive was going to get around the corner, but just barely picks him off. But again, one player has slid past, and look at the hold from Zip. He's already out. Squeaky Door, Perfecto has no idea just yet. He's so close. Electronic is going to save the day, and that takes the attention away from Perfecto in the site. He's there, but he hasn't had to do anything yet because of his teammates. Yeah, Symbol came in from the high ground, helping him out. Otherwise, I think he was also about to get flanked anyway. So time, really well timing here for Na'Vi in terms of when they were taking some of these fights. Leaving the Vice in a one versus four. That, that <laughs> could have been a disaster. Even Magus walking out third after like both of his teammates got all the way to the bomb site with no resistance and then Perfecto pounces and he's got to be wondering why he's the unfortunate one to not have that space to work with. Device in a one versus four now spotted out, but obviously not a great fight for the SMG. No, but just... Element of surprise here to do a little bit of damage, not going to be relevant. Simple will take him down. Looks like they might try and pinch it again. Same kind of setup, just with you know one person less. Glaive at least getting close, but yeah, he's going to he's just going to make a left into the smoke, and that's a problem for Electronic. He's about to be in a lot of trouble here. He gets the one. I can't believe he's still alive. Glaive will open it up, but Electronic now with the Molotov out. He's buying so much time, and Boomer's showing up. And Electronic, he goes down eventually, but he just bought so much time for his team. A simple drop in the bomb. Here's 10 rounds for Na'Vi at the end of the half. And in a phenomenal job, Electronic ending at 19 and 9. Time for it. They're going quick out into the yard. A little bit of a staggered push, so they don't group up on top of each other. But Magus, a double headshot will give a chance here for Astralis to bring it back. It's a three on three. A quick flank coming in. Glaive on the one side, Sip here on the other side, and Device is in Mini. They've got them pretty much triangled in. And can they find just one opening? If someone from Navi dies now, then I don't think the rest will be able to hold it. They need that opening fight right here, even with the bomb down. This is very, very tricky. A chance he saw that long range device, he definitely knew. Doing a little bit to try and see if he could do it, but oh, Glaive going down. That's a great headshot for Perfecto. Sip will take another one. Still a 2 on 2, and it's still doable for Navi. They could maybe win it, but Sip running right onto the site, and Electronic will go down one time there. There's that wall to get the secret. Device is gonna peek up, nobody looking. That's one Deagle down, big win for Electronic. Put the hot hand in the trade position. Probably not really necessary for Device to keep fighting that. 
I guess that's just one of those you know flex kind of plays where you just you really really want to show that you've got a Dupree. He's been sneaking through the smoke, and that's that's actually a disgusting play. Now Simple will take down Magus. So can this play be put into play? Dupree can't just run. They'll hear him if he does. So he's going to be sticking around instead, trying to call it out. Slave and Sip on the other side of Molotov to buy some time. And that actually, that Molotov is amazing. 18 seconds left. Simple and Flamey still fighting back. And they'll get it right back. Yeah, what a strong start for Na'Vi in this map. Inferno to decide it if it gets to it. We all love that. Oh, oh good shot from Glaive coming up in the stairs. Smoke to delay even longer. And Boomich knows exactly where Zipnix is. Now there is Magus sneaking up right where Glaive just came from. So yeah, he's sneaking a kill on Electronic. That's kind of cool because it's almost like Glaive was ready to sacrifice himself to just sell that uh, that idea. Boomich going down a sip. And now we c they can't lose this round. They need to win it. This has gotten way too disorganized. They have completely lost the plot in this round, Navi. And it's up to Flamey and Simple to try and recover it. And Simple has very low HP. Flamey not too much better. Towards the lower bomb site we go. Dupree can be there very fast, and Mega's playing at an awkward angle in the windows. That's going to be tough to clear, considering all the different angles there are in that bomb site. Yeah, it's, you know, you need someone planting the bomb while the other guy is essentially playing a bodyguard. If you don't find a kill before you get into that situation, it's not easy at all. 30 seconds on the clock, and yeah, just trying to make anything work, but they need they need a gift right now for Astralis. They need someone to walk into to a, just a free kill. Oh, that's a big fight for Flamey. Simple's gonna get into the upper bomb site. They've caused enough of a distraction to open this up. Somehow Navi have gotten in this position without really taking a whole lot of fights. And that's a big find for Zip. Long range with the Mac 10, but the headshot did it. Flamey, HE up there. Zip. Oh, he's gonna explode. He actually got that. This could get very interesting. A double kill for Flamey. Both players now left with just one, uh, basically one bullet's worth of health left. No and he's got the idea, Flamey will get it. A triple for him, touching the round for Na'Vi. It almost spun out of control. Well, the nice thing is they have Dupree and they have Zip in the lower bombsite as well. So they have two players down here. If the hit does eventually come in, they've got manpower to defend against it, even if they don't have the utility. Yeah, that much is true. Outside spotted, 35 seconds and a strong kill for Dupree, falling back, buying more time, and time is it. We decided what Navi just don't have right now. They're getting a couple of kills in return, but Sip is still down here waiting, and are they gonna actually have time to go for it now? Perfecto's got the bomb, and they need to Classic make a move. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? The one thing you don't wanna see right now, they have to make this work. They're playing around with the door at the moment, 15 seconds on the clock, and Sip, he's surely calling it in now. They jump through, the bomb is on the floor, and Sip, oh! He's gonna come up with a big double kill. Can he get there in Seven time? Seven seconds left, and I don't know, the bomb is not picked up. No, they're gonna run out of time. They oh. just cannot do it. He can't, but Device is actually about to flank them. If they spend another, you know, 10 seconds here, Device is probably gonna be walking up behind them pretty quickly. Flamey would have been the catch Device almost, but he's not quite ready. Now they're out in the bomb site. Sip is down there, ready and waiting. 30 seconds on the clock, and they're gonna go straight for the bomb hunt, but they don't expect Sip, and he almost could have lined up that double kill. Quick reaction from Electronic. We'll take him down with the bomb planted now, and they walk right in. Device not ready for it. Huge double kill coming out from Electronic, and now a four versus three. The bomb ticking away. Make is getting a kill, but the returns are there, and Flamey actually oh. stopping that, and a beautiful headshot to take them down. Now it's coming out. Deep diagonal smoke wall to allow Navi to get close up towards Mini. They can do a lot with this. Little bit of damage goes out onto Electronic, who's been the strong player for Navi. Exchange right back to Glaive, who's lucky to be alive, but I don't know if they'll expect this. is a pretty nasty off angle around the edge of the smoke. Electronic isn't going to look. Some missed shots, though. And boom it. He drops down. Double kill for Device. And they still cannot take him out. Oh dear, they need this. I mean, they finally get it, but now the problem is the time that they spent, it wasn't a big problem before, but when they lose those opening fights, suddenly they have to be really scared. And look at that line that he's holding with the scout, almost getting that tag. And if, if he had, that actually would be a disaster. Still a three on four right now, but they need to get into a bomb site. 25 seconds and the bomb is still in yard now finally making his way into mini and they do get oh. a bit of an opening but the priest there with the return and now the scout is up on high as well the flashbangs are in and they're doing so much damage navi they need to close this game out right now but i don't think it's going to be possible in this round eight seconds left and simple going straight for the bomb plant but they're already on top of him and that was the time that was left glaive just surviving on two health is all they need. You're like, oh man, we had the chance at that now. round, the one where the time ran out, but I like this from Electronic. He's gonna try and take it right back. 
An awkward fight in the open space, and oh, he just loses it. Good peek from Device, but the follow-up, two kills for Simple and Flamey, and now Simple's pressuring into the bomb site. But he doesn't actually know about this corner. Dupree could maybe find the right timing instead of Simple <laughs> executing him, oh, and they might very well win this round. Sif jumping down to the low ground, taking a lot of damage, and he is done. 15 on the board for Na'Vi. That push is insane. Oh my god, Electronic. If he didn't punch his monitor, fair play. It's the restraint. <laughs> That's got to be so frustrating. Five on four, another wrinkle. As Navi try and just try and take this victory. If they lose this round, Navi, again, their money is going to be miserable. And, you know, at 59, that's so within striking distance. They need to go right now and finish this game right here. Meg is taking down another one. It's five on three. I don't know how much more of this I can handle. 30 seconds on the clock, and yeah, they need to move, and they're running into a hugely stacked bomb site. They're all here. The bomb actually trying to make its way down, seeing if they could find a way. Boomich will get a kill on Dupree, and at least they're down. 18 seconds, and now can they actually find a way to put that bomb down and get a little bit of pressure back on now? Instead, it's Boomich dropping. Simple waiting. Perfecto getting a kill and taking down device. Eight seconds. Play, play. He opens the door, and he finds it! Five seconds. I'm not sure if Simple can even run here close enough one more time. <laughs> oh, it's hard to watch. One Krieg. I mean, it, again, it's a little bit of a prayer for them. But it's on Simple. It's on Simple. So the prayer seems a bit more likely. He's got some kind of direct, you know, line of God just any time he wants. Boomich will be the one to do it, and that's what the Glock taking down Magus can dare Simple, following it up, Na'Vi having a little bit of luck in this round. The bomb, they need a quick bomb plant here, and that's beautiful grenade landing right on top, oh but no. is it actually going to matter? Two versus three, and Sip jumping down with the scout, he's point blank range, not using the pistol, and that might be it, a one versus three. Bomb is going down on the other side, even as Device does get the kill, they might have found a way here, Na'Vi, he's trying his best, but this is a USP, <laughs> and they run away, now he's in trouble. No. Down behind he's looking for it no armor on perfecto but he still gets it done 16 to 9 and now we take us to map number three